right. Welcome, Fabian, to my hometown, Vienna. Nice having you here. Hi, Matthias. Today, talking about billing. I was meeting with the service provider lately, and we had the same discussion. How can I bill my services accordingly to my customers? Because they're consuming resources, like virtual machines and all the other stuff. But how am I able to write my bills according to the uh, resources they consume? Yeah, I mean, th this is a good old topic we, we see across across the whole globe. We, we have that with every service provider that they need to find a mechanism how to charge for the service they're, they're doing. And that's typical infrastructure services uh, surplused with, with um, additional services they might, might offer during their service provider offering. And over the years, most of them have either, they kind of created their own mechanism by running any kind of script, crawling through the vCenter, capturing the data points and virtual machines that were powered on and doing some fancy customized scripts around yeah, for, for, for this billing purpose. And, and this is something that, that kind of works, but it's not very flexible and doesn't really meet the idea of many service providers who just want to charge for yeah, resources that are really used. A virtual machine that's powered on because they just say hey, it was powered on on the 28th of February so therefore it counts for the whole whole month and so we, we've seen that before and this is something where we had charged back in the beginning when I did cloud director in the, in the really first years then there was we realized business and now VMware came up with the idea to say hey we have one system that captures all kind of data regarding to resources events this is we realized operations manager and the good thing is, um, with the tenant app that we, we put as besides uh, the VRealize Operations Manager, we're now able to create pricing policies to utilize the data and have some kind of integrated way of yet yeah, charging the end and, and consumer in the end, which is quite good. All right, sounds nice. You, you were mentioning VRealize Business Cloud Advanced, I think that was the name. And it was able to show back resource consumption and add a price tag to all that kind of stuff. But the issues I had in the past was with that solution, how can I get the data out of the solution into my own charging system? Yeah, that's a really good question. In the end, it's kind of the end-to-end -end building process that needs to be analyzed. But typically, from a technical point of view, we have the tenant app where we create pricing policies, where we say, okay, for this VM, um, you have a price per vCPU. Build month, monthly, hourly, per day, whatever you want to have it. Um, um, you can add additional service charges on top of it based on metadata or vSphere tags, whatever you like to do. And this pricing policy creates data points within the Realize Operations Manager. So all the data, all the, the, the price stamp is stored within the Realize Operations uh, Manager database. And so you can access it either over the API, which helps if you want to kind of create your own yeah, let's say middleware that extracts the data and push it into the, the billing system, or you utilize VROps, you realize operations manager, yeah, let's say reports where, where you extract the CSV out of it and you get a yeah, you get an email at the end of the month where you get all the yeah, all the, the, the pricing results that you require and can charge back to your customer. That sounds great, but what I'm interested in is what is the com division approach into those projects when you talk to service providers about the whole billing topic? Yeah, normally nearly all service providers that, that communicate with us and currently are interested in the topic because they have this very old, inflexible way new services come in like uh, disaster recovery, cloud availability. And, and okay, what, what do we do? Do we extend our script? The, the guy who built it is, has left the company or whatever. So, so what, what we typically do is we do some kind of a design workshop where we also figure out, hey, how do you want to, to build do you have any kind of additional services? Do we need to integrate that into, into that? Or do you just want to get the infrastructure prices and then extend it and maybe a different system for any kind of additional services or licenses? So, so we figured it out during the workshop. And then we typically recommend, okay, let's, let's figure out, let's implement it in a way you want to have it. Let's have both mechanisms side by side with each other over two, three, four months. And then they can figure out what's the old price, what's the new price. Is that something they can... I don't know, go to the customer and say, hey, please, um, let's, let's switch over to the new model. Because they have contracts, they, they need to figure out if they can change to the new billing model. Or, yeah, we, we try to, to consult them in, in the whole process. Um, most cases, it makes sense. New customers get a new concept. Old customers, if they know them, they can go into discussion. They can figure out if they've yeah, set the pricing policies correctly. Because this is a difficult 
difficult topic to figure out what's the right vCPU price. Does that really match for the for the end customer to to have kind of the same um, yeah expected price they need to pay? Uh, a very difficult topic, but we created some process mechanisms that we see on the long term where we yeah, work with our service providers to, to, to find a proper way how to implement this new billing mechanism. Cool. Fabian, thanks for a short explanation. Great having you over. Talking about charging, I guess now I'm in charge getting you a schnitzel. Or a beer. Thanks, Matthias. Thanks. See you. Bye. <laughs>